Amy Medford and Jeff O'Prandy from Live. Medford Knife and Tool. Live. Jeff was, has been asking me for, for months to be in a video. Oh yeah, asking. My favorite thing, those of you that know me, <laughs> I'd love to be on camera. God, but I when, I saw, when I saw the layout of these knives, I wanted to be part of this. These are some of the nicest ones I've ever seen. Oh, I know. Crazy. Tell me about them. So this is for DLT Trading. Paul at DLT are, it's like deja vu with DLT here. A fantastic spread of Praetorian tea. Oh, we'd love to have Greg hop in on this too. Maybe, Perfect. Maybe That'd not. be a good segue for me to bounce. These are, uh, you know, mostly S35 and some D2 Vulcans. So some of these are, are exceedingly unique since they're Vulcans. But a big ass selection. Of I see a whole here. bunch of sexy sculpting going on here for sure. A couple yep. of faces. This one here is probably my favorite. I don't know, what would you call that? We were trying to figure out what to call that. Bubbles. Diamonds in the sky. Diamonds in the sky. Okay, <laughs> I like that works. That. Very cool. Yeah. So, you have anything to say? I see some really beautiful Vulcan here. One of my favorite finishes. There's a spectacular one over here. Check yeah, out that amazing. one. That's amazing. That is amazing. And my favorite configuration, Tonto. This is some really good work. Are you going to Shot Show? I am going to Shot Show, yes. We just got done doing some planning for that. We've got a busy first quarter calendar. So, we'll be at Shot Show this year, IWA in Europe, and then we're also doing the NRA show. And that's just our first quarter. So look first at a couple of those venues. Of course, we're doing Blade Show, which is next June. I think we've got 14 or 15 events scheduled for next year. Some of the details still have to be filmed up. But we'll be busy. But we will be at SHOT Show. Took it easy in 2018, and we're kicking it in 19. That's right. We've got a lot of stuff going on. You guys will be getting a big email from us at the end of the year to talk about uh, our year-end wrap-up and some exciting stuff we're going to announce for the first quarter. Uh, dealers will be getting it, and they'll be communicating that to the customers. Exciting stuff. All right. Big Geo. I'm going to get in on the knives. Oh, yeah, you get in on it. Let All right, get out of see here. you. Thank That's you. Awesome. See you later. That was my cue to kick him out. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we have we do have some D2 Vulcan Tontos here. These are just badass, and I know they're going to sell right away because, as you know, they are discontinued. So a couple of Vulcan blades, different styles of sculpting. Oh. I hope I didn't swap them, but if I did, I'm sure Kevin will get them all squared away. The rest of these are S35 with different styles. We have a bronze and blue conical sculpting, a face to handle here that has a bronze to violet fade. Again, this is, um, I think this is my favorite on the table. I would definitely call that diamonds in the sky. Very cool, little facets just laid in there, different depths. Different, um, I mean, just very naturally done, not yeah. not contrived. A violet conical sculpted handle. Again, some blue and bronze. A violet bluish fade. Straight up bronze with kind of a falling leaf pattern on the perimeters. A hammered radial fade from the pivot screw out. Kind of more subtle, contoured bevels all around the outside of the perimeters, a radial fan um, fade with uh, kind of an ice blue, light blue, violet to bronze, hammering on the full handle and spring, so completely covered. I mean, you can just see the range of what we can do all in-house. This one was flamed and sculpted, kind of a sand dunes effect. What you, what you working on? I need you to stick your old head in. Come on over. What's happening? Who's D this for? DLT is happening. Oh, yeah, I saw these knives laid out and I was like, what are those? I don't know. That's a pretty sexy batch of pretty custom-y looking knives, huh? Crazy. And some yeah. really pretty Vulcan blades, some of the last that what? we're putting through. I mean, that... that See, That's the one Jeff picked up. I know. You, like, you look at that blade and it, it's one of those ones where you're kind of like... You know, if you if they came out like that all the time, I'd do them all the time, but they don't. Yeah. <laughs> right. So there we are, pulling that knife out again. Jeff and Greg both, and me. That little blast of color there is fantastic. Oh, Maron. Another D2 with flaming, anodized spring. D2 Vulcan drop points here with some custom sculpting. I'm telling you, Paul is gonna be uh, busy shipping out knives. And this is all right before the holiday season. So I hope you all are able to jump on some of these knives here. And these are some of my favorite too. Just a straight up 3V PVD drop point, PVD coated titanium hardware, breaker and clip, and a dark bronze bead blasted handle. That 
next to the violet one the same way. I mean, this is fantastic. And these are some of my favorites because they're a little more subdued, a little more tactical looking. This is all PVD'd everything, the blade, the handle spring breaker, everything with bronze, um, bronze anodized hardware. Against the black, I mean, oh, a couple of TFF H's here with full titanium hardware flame, random flaming on the handles. Just really sexy. Those have been faced and flamed, so they have a little extra color. Uh, the last general. This thing made it through, crawling through the factory, and here it is going out to DLT trading. Last one that will ever come from the factory, guaranteed. Terminator style, all tumbled. And then they have a group of smooth criminal headed out. Keep your eye on the smooth criminal. We will have different colors coming through, but this is the first generation, first set of knives headed out. DLT trading, doing it again. Deja vu with DLT. Till the next time, I'm out.